Hello and welcome to the Christmas Everyday Podcast. I'm Jay Roberts, the host, and today's video we are going to talk about the movie USS Christmas. It's a Hallmark Christmas movie and it's going to be the first movie I've reviewed using my Christmas Movies Reviews logbook. And... Um, I've printed it out and put it on the actual blog. So if you want to read it, you can do, or you can just keep listening to this. And um, let's get into it. I'm currently over on the website. Um, if you want to check it out, it's christmaseverydayclub.com. It's full of games, activities, videos, music, you name it, guys. It's got a lot of stuff, trivia, recipes, stories, but the, the section we want is over on the blog, yeah? So, I've, like I said, I've made a review. Just going to open it up on the computer. And, yeah. But let me just explain something, guys, uh, before we get into it. I want to explain a few things about my reviews. The end or won't be like most of, of the other reviews. And what I mean by that is that my reviews are based on how Christmassy the movie is. Yeah? I love Christmas and I love movies. So the more Christmassy they are, the better they are for me. Yeah, I love good stories as well as good acting. And they're, they're both important for um, how good the movie is. But the more Christmas treats like visiting Santa, building a snowman, decorating a tree, and all the other Christmas activities the better the movie is for me, guys. So, to help with the type of reviews, I created my own Christmas movies reviews and logbook, which um, the link will be in the description if you want to check it out. It lets me tick and star certain things in the book, in, in the movie, such as um, how many times they drink hot chocolate or cocoa, yeah? Uh, how many times did they decorate the tree? Did they see Santa? And all the other Christmassy related activities like building snowmen, playing in the snow, etc. So, yeah, it's the type of book I need for my reviews. So, you can't find it anywhere else. They don't do all, anything like that. I've tried other review books. But, so if you want to check it out, guys, check it. The link's in the description. Um, and plus, you can add you can add what you like, what you dislike, your final thoughts, and lots more. Plus... At the back of the book, there is a 100 Christmas Everyday Club movie challenge. Yeah, this is what I do nearly every year to myself. I let it get a bit late in the year and I decide I want to watch 100 Christmas movies before Christmas Day. You can do it throughout the year. It's up to you. Um, and yeah, and you just log the movies you watch and then talk about it, share about it. Anyway, let's get into this. Yeah, so USS Christmas. The cast... It's starring Jen Lilly, yeah, who has also starred in, in um, other all Mark Christmas movies, Spirit of Christmas and Mingle All The Way. Also, a co-host is Trevor Donovan, who also starred in these, A Snow Globe Christmas and Merry Me At Christmas and Nostalgic Christmas. So, um, they're the main leads, but they've also got some supporting roles from Barbara Niven, Stephanie Butler and Brett Rice. All good in the roles. So the, the synopsis is Maddie, generally a reporter from a Norfolk, Norfolk newspaper, embarks on a tiger cruise during Christmas time where she meets a handsome naval officer, Trevor, uh, Trevor Donovan, and stumbles upon a mystery in the ship's archive room. So it's a bit of a mystery and Christmas. So on the wet on the blog, I've I've um, shared the the trailer and i've shared some pictures of the from inside the movie yeah so that is the hallmark synopsis but just a christmas it was the movie or wasn't it so let's find out guys so like all of hallmark's christmas movies well the ones i've seen this is a love story and that is the direction the story goes in the actors played the parts well the cinematography was cool i particularly like seeing the military parts such as the fighter jets and the aircraft carrier being ex-military and serving in the Air Force, I do enjoy seeing movies with them in, especially Christmas movies. It's a win-win for me. There was some Christmas music and some scenes that were Christmassy, like the Navy's Christmas ball where Maddie goes to meet her sister, Amelia. 
Yeah, plus on plus plus on search for more information about the mystery. They go to like a miniature train model, like a little train station, but like model, and it looks so nice. It will be fake snow and all that. So that's pretty cool. Um, I seen Santa once during the movie. They didn't actually go to visit him. They walked past him in the street whilst he was collecting money from passerbys. So that, that gets a star from me. There was no decorating the tree, no baking cookies, no playing in the snow. So they don't get any stars, I'm afraid. The stars are basically um, what I fill out in, the, in my book. Yeah, it makes sense if, if you've got the book, but I tick off, the, when I see them in the movies, I tick them off. So if they, if they drink hot cocoa um, to, twice, I'll, tick, I'll give it a two star. If they visit Santa, I'll give it one star, yeah? If you see Santa again in the movie, I'll give it another star and so on, guys. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, the highlights, some of the highlights for me are pretty much the things I've already mentioned, such as the mini train village, seeing the military and the jets taking off. Plus, they kiss more than once, guys, which is rare for Hallmark. But it's good to see. My final thoughts about the movie, it wasn't that Christmassy, but I still really enjoyed this movie. The fact it was about military and Christmas has definitely won me over, but adding them kiss more than once, plus them working well together makes this enjoyable. I would definitely watch it again, and out of five, I'd give it three stars. And that's only because it's not very Christmassy. The movie itself, I really enjoyed. And they also, guys, they also make... Um, they do some decorating, um, like stars and um, snowflakes, and I don't know where you put glitter on and stuff like that. Decorations for the trees and that they do that. So that's Christmassy. That got um, that got a couple of stars from me. Um, yeah. So in the that is it for my review, guys. But if you want to check out the blog post, I put like I put images of the of inside my book where I filled it out, what I've give stars, etc. Um, I will be trying my best to make more Christmas movie reviews as well as new ones coming out. Yeah, like the old ones and new ones. That's starting this Friday. I'll be using my review book and publish, publishing all the reviews over on the podcast, of course. My YouTube channel, if you want to check out the actual video, and um, on the actual blog on the Christmas Every Day website. So if you would like to... If you would like to do a review of Christmas movies, then feel free to check out my book. Like I said, the link's in the description. And um, if you come to the website and you want to check it out, then the first two images on the blog post links you over to Amazon, the UK version. If you link on the if you click on the other two images, it links you to the US Amazon page. But guys, they are not affiliate links. I'm not trying to make any money off this. So the question is, guys, are you ready for the new Hallmark Christmas movies? Have you seen USS Christmas? Tell us your thoughts below or come and join the Facebook group. We are always sharing fun posts about all Hallmark Christmas movies and other Christmas treats. So, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. It's my first one. Hopefully, I'll get better. Comment below. Say hello. It will be nice. And until next time, guys, Merry Christmas. Goodbye.